refresh your roots. And thanks to the Safari Park Safari Cats. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from Nairobi, please help me welcome your host, Sheila Moniga and Dr. Mitch Egwa. Hello, East Africa. What a pleasure, what an honor. Mambo Vipi, hello and welcome to Tusker Project Fame 5 Live. Oh, yes, Muri Mutia. It's such an honor to be back on Tusker Project Fame Season 5. You know, honestly, Sheila, I really, really missed you, huh? These years away from you. You know, I think, apart from the show, we should start spending time together. No, no, no really, because, you know, if we spend time together, maybe our countries wouldn't fight over Mijingo Island. <laughs> Come on, Mitch. It is ours. You do realize that. Give it back. Okay. Let's, let's, let's forget the dreams and make somebody's dream come true tonight. Indeed. You know, over the next eight weeks, we're going to be following the contestants to find out exactly who's got what it takes to be the last man or woman standing right here on the stage to take away 5 million Kenya shillings and a worldwide recording contract with Universal Music. But when you think of it, you know, they say that the love of money is the root of all evil, so why don't we just take away all that stress? Give me four million, give that person half a million, you can take the rest. I'll tell you what, you can keep the four million as long as it's Uganda shillings. Uh, uh, I, I, I will not stand for this. Huh? Let's get back to the show, ladies and gentlemen, because tonight we're going to be showing you 18 contestants, 12 of whom are very safe. They don't have to sing, but... There are others who have another story I hear. I'll tell you, six contestants are on probation. There's one from each country. There are only three slots left in the Tusker Project Fame Academy. Three will be making it into the academy to join the 12. Before the remaining two, uh, three, it's going to be the end of the road as we say goodbye to them tonight. Okay, well, nicely put. But when you have contestants, you must have people who judge them. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure I'd like to say that this year, there's a new face on the lineup. Take a look. Universal Music Group, with its strength in local and international repertoire, an unparalleled roster of artists and songwriters, a diverse family of labels, the world's foremost music publisher, and a powerful music legacy, will continue to lead the industry. 
This is Universal. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on the stage our judges. Judge Juliana, Judge Hermes, Judge Ian, and Judge Gerard. got a very difficult task to handle. Oh yeah, they're the ones who are going to be giving us all the stress, pressure, tension, sleepless nights, loss of weight, probation, all the negativities you could think of. That's what they'll handle. Yeah, yeah. But it's a great pleasure, I'd like to say a very special karibuni. Sawavona, great to have you here. Mr. Gerard Foster, can I call you GF? Can I call you Judge Jerry? Just G. <laughs> All right, tell me something, Judge Gerard. Mm, are you gonna be a super smooth Mr. Fix-It like, you know, Hermes? Are you gonna be calm, collected like Juliana? Or are you gonna be like Ian? <laughs> These are very tough acts to follow. Uh -huh. um, everybody's carved out their position. Yeah. So they are the show, I'm the business. All right. <laughs> Moving on to the biggest producer from Tanzania, Judge Hermes, it is wonderful to have you back. But before we talk to you, there's a lovely lady from Uganda, Juliana. We hey, saw darling. you breaking hearts on the ground. What have you been up to lately? Um, music, been singing, been recording, but most of all, I've been missing TPF, so I'm glad to be back. Yes. Um, I miss you too, Juliana. <laughs> yeah. You're both from the same country. Surely it can't be that hard to see each other in Uganda. You, you know, the problem is that I'm always in the US and the UK and all over the place. <laughs> Judge Hermes, it's great to have you back. How are you doing, man? I've been great, man. How are you? Uh huh. Tell me, what do you got in store for Tusker Project Fame Season 5? Uh, great stuff. I think we have the great talent here. So basically, I think we're going to pick the best. All from right. what we have. Great expectations. In fact, she came very close. You know, Tanzania is yet to give us a winner. But also mm -hmm. in the house, Judge Ian. Hello. Yeah. You know, Ian, it's actually quite nice, you know, to see. No, no, no. I'm, I'm telling you, honestly, it's quite nice to see you. But you see, I'm actually just concerned for you a bit because in Tusker Project Fame season three, you had a head of black hair. Now you're great. You know, unlike mine, which is in the right spot, it's a sign of wisdom, wealth, and one woman. At a time. Yours looks like a story of stress and pressure. Can you handle this season? Mitch, those are words that don't come anywhere in my vocabulary. I'm never stressed and I'm never worried. This is aging gracefully. Okay, okay, l l let me remind you about something. You know, Tusker Project fame already, even before going live, has started causing a lot of waves. Now, I was w following the auditions a couple of weeks ago and there was some young lady from Kenya who came and belted out a fantastic song. And you, I don't know with which attitude, what you had eaten that day, you decided to kick out. Now. I'm wondering sincerely, Ian, I thought that's what the Academy is about, pulling people in the rough, you know, carving them out and then bringing them up. But you, what happened now? Ian. You're actually waiting for me to answer to that? Yes, Ian. Mitch, I'm not going to sit here and start talking about one person. TPF is much bigger than that. I'm here for TPF 5. I wish her all the best. Yeah. If she's going to be famous before this show begins or ends, fine. The question is, famous for what? Ooh. Down, 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 people. Calm down, everybody. We've got a show to put on the road. So because we're talking about TPF5, 
It only stands to reason we start with the auditions. Take a look at the talent that we found across East again. Africa. And also the people who are not so talented and who should have stayed home. Seriously? Really? Yes, yes. I'm here because I know I can win Tasca Project Film. I just want to be a big icon in music in Africa. You tell me that you're sorry, didn't think I'd turn around. Call it no? No. No. Do you have another song? The lane of paradise, where there is no surprise, no sorry, no worry. As the choice we make, king, we saving our own lives, carrying the prophets over again. Destroying the prophets. And I will always love you. I and that if you ever see the storm. You take a rise, hold the top reset just like a nation. Yeah. You are a shy. They won't get oh, wait, you. Oh, wait, 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 where does it go? And this is thrillers, the chorus. That's what we've been waiting for. Say right, all day long. I'm gonna fight you right from get up, get up. Oh, not a superstar. A thriller! <laughs> oh no, oh no. Sheila, I'm telling you, you need to save my life on this show. Save life now. <laughs> huh? no. Ladies and gentlemen, after the break, we're going to introduce you to the 18 contestants who some are going to sit back and relax, but there are going to be six of them who've got to sit and sing, belt it out for all of their power, their energy, all their molecules, because there are only three spots left in the academy. This is Tusker Project Fame, season five.